Hi, welcome to Kitty Witty Paper Craft. I'm Amy, and in this video, I am going to do a flip through of my three newest Kitty Dory Traveler's Notebook Junk Journals. So I just finished these like five minutes ago, <laughs> and they are going in my shop tonight, Friday, July 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is currently one o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time on Friday, and I still need to get everything ready for my shop um, update tonight. I need to take photos of everything and edit and list. So I'm going to keep this video as short as I can, but I do want to flip through these because when I do my Etsy listings, I usually just do a few photos of each because I can't do like 10 photos of every single thing that I'm putting in my shop and edit them and list them. I just don't have it in me. <laughs> I'd have to break that up over like a few days. And like I said, it's already one o'clock and I haven't done any of that yet. So um, I will start with this one, I guess, and we'll just kind of work our way through these. So all three of these, before I um, open the first one, they kind of have a summer um, theme to all of them. So all of these covers I thought were so sweet and I wanted to use them um, with kind of like a summer theme to them. Like these girls look like they are at the beach um, with her little pail and her ball and her little outfit. And this girl here, she's covered up a little bit by the fabric bow, but she's on a bike and they have cute little summer outfits on. And of course, this one with a cotton candy, um, I thought would be a great summertime one. So I have a sort of summer theme going on with these. So I will start with this one here. This fabric um, here and this one here both were from my mom's sewing stash. So um, I love that I'm getting to use that. Oh, it's got fuzz on my table. <laughs> okay. So all three of these have 80 pages front and back, and these are really stuffed with lots of ephemera and trims. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna flip through here. Um, there are lots of things that you can use to journal on, and then there's just ephemera for decoration, some ephemera just for fun. And all of it sort of either is summery in theme or has a lot of red and yellow. I used a lot of red, yellow, and um, red and blue, I meant to say, but um, red, blue, and yellow in here. So let me show you all the little ephemera. So each one of these has a little glassine bag that I have little bits of ephemera in. And this little tag, tag here. And like these guys are on bikes and wagons. So there's a lot of kind of summery kids playing outside, beach, that sort of thing um, in here. And this envelope has some journaling cards and I have these fun little um, flashcards that I printed and they all have like little words that have to do with summer on them. And then this is something new that I'm adding to my Kitty Dory Traveler's Notebook junk journals, my sewing pattern junk journals. Um, I've been trying to collect these little snap fastener cards. So I feel like I have enough now that I can start adding these to my journals. And what I did is I made it into a tag and then on the back there's a little pocket and then I just added some little bits of ephemera to the pocket. And of course you can add a journaling card or some kind of journaling um, that you tuck into the pocket here or you could add a photo. And all of the cards are all different sizes. So um, the size of the card will obviously determine what you can put in the back there. But I thought they'd made fun little tags. And I love to add vintage sewing touches to these, obviously, because I'm using sewing pattern envelopes for the covers. Um, we've got this vintage clothing tag in all of them. Um, a bingo card, another printable. And then they all have um, pom-pom trim and a little... Um, a tab that I punched the word fun on the tag and um, just to kind of keep it general so you don't feel like you're locked into summer I was gonna put like some different summary words on there but I didn't want to lock anyone in with a particular word so I thought fun was general <laughs> enough and I'm using a, a vintage um, label maker that I have to make this um, little label I love that vintage label maker because it comes with a cursive wheel. So that's a lot of fun. So 
some handwriting paper. This is from um, a little golden book, Corinne Malvern Illustrations, um, A Day at the Seashore is the name of that little golden book. This is a doily printed from Little Bindi on Etsy. Oh, and each of the journals has a Sears catalog page. So I have a 1967 Sears catalog. And in the back, um, because it was a summer um, edition of their catalog, there was all kinds of outdoor things in the catalog. And there was a bunch of um, like swing sets and play sets in there. Um, so I thought that would be a fun page to add to these journals. So they each have a, a page with that kind of thing on it from that catalog. This is just a little junior elf book page and another one of the little um, flashcards. And then the back of this has a sweet little illustration also. A vintage coaster. And a flashcard, library card, little um, receipt card. I love this little image also. Turn that into a pocket. And then just some ephemera in the pockets here. This is from my sewing pattern counter catalog. Got a label and just some fun little colorful pieces. And I trimmed these out. I'm gonna start trimming these out, I think, in baby pom-pom trim. Some of my favorite ledger paper. It's a little popcorn bag, just has um, some tickets inside and a journaling card. Um, I'm not gonna pull that out. Okay, I'll take it out. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get the things back inside, so I just don't take it out. That's being lazy. Ugh, I got like three hours of sleep last night, so I am really not like on my game here today. I'll add that back in later. I don't wanna mess with the paper clip. Um, all the chenille so all the bags, um, all the journals have a little popcorn bag in them because they all had red in them. So I thought they'd be fun to add. And some buttons on the chenille tab. This is the back side of that Sears catalog page. Another little journaling card. And there's an alterations tag. And the inside of this seed packet has a journaling card in it. Actually, it's got a little um, button card. And each of the journals has a vegetable seed packet in it. I thought that was cute for summertime. Oh, see, I have to fool with this. I'll have to put it back together later. <laughs> and then these are some vintage trims. Oops, I forgot to hook this one in. Um, I will get a paper clip and add this little um, circus ticket to this one. Oh gosh, and this was the little girl that was with that. These just need to get paper clipped in. I told you I didn't sleep much last night, so whew. I about killed myself getting these ready for today. <laughs> but they are done and they are gonna be in my shop tonight. I thought this was a cute little card. You can put some of your fun summer activities. This will be a nice end of the summer journal. There's a chenille pocket in each one. And then here's just some more ephemera in the back pocket. Okay, so that is the first one. And then we'll do this one next. I love this fabric. It's, it's really different. It's really dark. Um, but I thought it went really well with this cover. And I added just a little bit of washi. Um, I didn't want to take away from the beautiful cover on this one. I really didn't think I needed to add much of anything to it. So I just added a little bit of fabric washi there. So this one is kind of similar. Um, I didn't even talk about the scrapbook papers in them. Um, I think I used simple stories. Yes. I couldn't even remember what I put in, in all of them. Um, these two definitely are the same. I think my other one might be different. Um, this is simple stories, summer days, scrapbook paper in this one. And this all has pretty much the same um, ephemera, just lots of red and blue um, ephemera and some little printable ephemera. There's a cute little um, label for canning that's vintage and a jukebox label and a milk cap in there. And 
I love this postalette. Love that. Um, it's a Hallmark postalette. Love that pattern. And this just has the little flash card and a Rolodex card and journaling card with the cute kids at the summertime. And so this snap uh, fastener card tag has the pocket on the back and I put some little tickets in there for you. And then this could be a journaling card on the back. So <laughs> let me just take a second here to notice um, or to mention that I just realized the other day that when I am doing my videos, I click my tongue like against the roof of my mouth and I never noticed that I did that before. I'm pretty sure I don't do that when I talk in conversation, but for some reason I'm doing that when I do videos. I don't know if it's a nervous thing or what, but oh my gosh, it's so annoying and I am so sorry. That has got to be so aggravating to listen to. <laughs> so I'm trying to be conscious of that and not do that anymore. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I do that. So there's a button card in this seed packet. I just love that rich red color. I want to make sure I don't mix up my ephemera from the different um, journals here. I love this doily printable. And then there's some different fabrics, um, little tabs all throughout each. These little kids on tricycles. I thought that was a cute thing for summertime. A flash card, library card. This is the Sears catalog, um, little swing set page. Did you have a swing set like that when you were a kid? I had a swing set similar to that in my backyard. I love that thing. And got some of the same ephemera in this one. There's a cider label and some Monopoly money and a Rolodex card. And this one has the red pom-pom trim. This one has a lot more red in it than um, the other two, but um, I think that's fun. And this little um, edge that is folded around um, this signature, you could add um, a page or two. So you could do one to the front, just use washi tape or double-sided tape, and you could add another whole page right here, or you could tack this down um, on the ends and make this a little pocket there. And this one has the um, surface bag and that has a little alterations tag on it. Love these little peanut bags are so fun. This is just a Junior Elf um, page and a vintage coaster. And you could also do the same thing with the end of this envelope. You could tack that down and make it a little tuck spot. That folds out, that postalette. This would be a great spot for adding a photo or some journaling too. Okay, so that is the second one. And then last is the Cotton Candy Girls. I debated on what fabric tie to add to this journal. Um, the others, you know, they're all red and blue, but I really wanted to pull out that pink in the Cotton Candy. And I think these colors all work great together. I mean, obviously they are in the illustration on the cover. Um, this is one of my favorite covers. This one needed a lot of TLC. This cover was not in great shape. So I added um, quite a bit of fabric washi to this um, envelope. And you can still see like in the light where it's like shiny right there. The person that had this envelope had used scotch tape all along the top of it just to kind of help it hold together. So um, I have covered most of that with uh, fabric washi. I love these little postcards. I have a whole um, set and they all have different little images. You may have seen my Junior Elf um, junk journals, the mini junk journals. I have these in there as a page and they all have different little images on them, but I love how there's so much blank space. And then on the back, there's lines that you could just use to do more journaling on. Makes it sometimes a little easier when you have lines. And this is just a little um, phone message card. It's vintage. 
I love this paper. So this paper in here is October afternoon. And um, let's see the other one. They're both October afternoons. Yeah, so this one got October afternoon papers. Yeah, bicycle. So each of the flashcards in the journals are different. Um, there's two of those little word flashcards that are summer themed. So this um, pocket on the back of your snap tag. This one's a little bit smaller than the other two. Just put it in there like that for now. And this book, I remembered um, this book, Pink, Pink Lemonade, um, had this little page in there with the illustration with the guy handing out cotton candy. So I'm glad I remembered I had that. Uh, I wanted to add that to this, obviously. <laughs> I even love this side of it. It's beautiful illustrations in that book. And again, you have all the similar um, ephemera, just like the other two journals. I'm trying to go through these pretty quickly. There's a little cookbook page, and this is from an outdoor um, Betty Crocker outdoor cookbook. So all three of the journals have a little page from that journal. Here's another swing set display from the Sears catalog. So fun. This is an elf book page. It has another um, sweet illustration on the back of this too. Wait, I'll make sure I don't have it too close to the center there because I don't want it to bend. This also has the Miss Muffet button card inside of it. And this one got this peanut bag. So each of the journals has a different peanut bag in it. And that is the third one. So these three kitty dories will be in my Etsy shop uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will also have four mini junk journals um, made with the um, Junior Elf book cover. And I'm going to put some um, anti-fray on this fabric um, here before I send it out because it's shedding a little bit more. I love the frayed look, but that one's shedding a little bit more than I like. So I will add some fray stop to that. And yeah, so tonight I will have these journals and I have four. Ah, <laughs> I'm tethered to my, my phone. I forgot. I wanted to grab the, um, the Junior Elf book journals. I'm sorry about that. I'm actually using an external mic now instead of using the mic on my phone. And I totally forgot that I was tethered to my phone. Sorry about that. These are the four um, little Junior Elf book mini junk journals. And they will be in my shop. And I also have, and I'm not going to grab those because they're not. Cl I'm not close enough. I have nine inserts, uh, Traveler's Notebook inserts, also along with these guys. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. And I hope to catch up with you guys soon. Bye.